Hey, Shalom Akim. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahushai. Ba'ashem Akakadash, Barakatan. Double honors and salutations to the elders and apostles and bishops and officers of Group Mustun. Who serve in the Lord, Hamashiach, Yahushai, in sincerity and truth, pushing forth his gospel. Yeah, so uh, what you see on the screen? It's a huge factor <laughs> that uh, a lot of people are catching up to concerning the agenda of the elites, all right? Because uh, it's, uh, the agenda as per climate change and uh, trying to figure out how they could eliminate uh, so called greenhouse gases. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, all tied in to, uh, you know, creating a famine, creating a, a scarcity, all right? They have to create uh, products that they can have uh, control of, all right? Patented products, all right? And this is exactly uh, also linked with the protests, the turmoil in the Netherlands, you know, you see the farmers upset with the uh, agenda that uh, the government is pushing over there. It's all tied in to uh, collapsing the food chain, all right? And uh, the farmers over there are upset because uh, the government wants them to uh, reduce their, their ownership of livestock, all right? And they're going to force and squeeze them out of those lands, all right? Because uh, you know the agenda of the elite, man. They have to create a scarcity of uh, of food, and they have to go after the farmers, uh, all right? And they're upset with, uh, with Mr. Gates of Hell, you know, always uh, injecting himself into uh, the interests of the people without uh, any invitation and now they've uh, labeled him as a miscreant man you know it's up to no good you know so now they know what the whole agenda the green agenda is all about all right they see that uh, the government policies is just uh, gonna wreck their uh, livelihood all right so it's going to be a crazy uphill uh, battle. You know, they're protesting, they're blocking roads with their tractors. Officers are overwhelmed. They're stressed out. People are stressed out. So it's going to create a lot of tension and uh, animosity. And, uh, you know, it's just a lot stirring up the, the spirit of these people to resist their so-called government, to resist that uh, tyrannical uh, <laughs> uh, bat, you know, that's been uh, launched towards their heads, you know. So uh, you just see this agenda for uh, 3D printed meats. That's what it is, man, you know. All this uh, biotech foods, man, you know. So you just have to be aware of uh, the the uh, the agenda, and this uh, video uh, on the business insider channel you gotta watch it, man. You know it just gives you an idea of uh, how serious these elites are to push this agenda, so they could have control of other people. You know, so now uh russia signed a, a deal with ukraine to allow those grains to move forward but that's not really going to change anything down the line because the lord has already mentioned that uh it's going to be chaotic upon the face of the earth you're going to hear about wars and rumors of wars all right so i'm going to read from the book of uh ezekiel all right because the lord has already mentioned that uh we're going to eat defiled foods, man, GMOs, you know, contaminated foods, you know, because we're in captivity, you know. This world is not bent uh, towards righteousness, man. It's bent towards uh, evil, 
destruction and uh, and chaos all right so the book of uh, Ezekiel chapter 4 I want to start that verse 10 this is what the Lord told the uh, prophet Ezekiel this is concerning you know the the shadow of things to come that our people have to deal with you know so it says in verse 10 and thy meat thou shalt eat as by a weight 20 shekels a day from time to time thou shalt eat it so that goes to uh to hardship you know food rations and all that stuff you know poverty lack of a financial uh, uh high sight man lack of uh, financial revenue you know to uh, afford uh, food to eat you know and that's why Jake's always going to the food bank always depending on charities to uh, get uh, nutrition for their children you know and when the summertime comes around a lot of these children don't have uh, the opportunity to eat breakfast because the parents don't have much on time to eat breakfast is uh is doing school you know once they get off the bus they head to the cafeteria for about 45 minutes to get some breakfast and that's it you know so it's just an idea that uh, you have to be aware of all right and then in verse 11 says thou shalt also drink Thou shalt drink also water by measure, the six part of an hen from time to time. You know, so, hey, in, in the so called science field, they call that uh, restrictions, <laughs> you know, yeah, caloric restrictions. When they're doing all these experiments, you know, on uh, this uh, lab uh, specimen like mouse and rats and rabbits and all this stuff birds they always like to measure out uh, the nutrition they're giving these uh, creatures all right so verse 12 says and thou shalt eat it as barley cakes and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight so that shows you that uh, the food is not going to be pure as it's uh, expected to be it's going to be contaminated you know so you just have to accept you know the the, the difficulties of uh, being able to put food on the, food on the table all right and then uh verse 13 says uh, and the lord how said even that even thus shall the children of israel eat their defiled bread among the gentiles whither I will drive them. So you can imagine our people that are in the immigration system and you know that are behind bars, uh, these so called uh shelters, this uh you know, this uh food pantries, you know, all these uh kitchens. Who knows what they will go, they're gonna be eating man when you have all these uh GMO foods introduced to them so you just have to be aware of that all right because yeah it's just uh one of those things you have to be aware of man you know so not to uh mumble and rumble on that long I'm gonna get some extra precepts so it just shows you man when they have a shortage of beef and uh this uh biotech companies have a monopoly over the food supply then they can charge as much as they want you know and the government is going to subsidize it <laughs> you know so they, they're going to make a killing you know because uh hey the money is flowing that direction that's what you call a, a wealth transfer when you mess around with the supply chain and uh, you divert the resources of the people towards the super elite you know the the like to call that a, a so-called wealth transfer 
But hey, it is what it is, man. You know, they want to stay in power. So, weakness got to gravitate towards uh, where the resources are. Okay? So, uh, Book of Revelation, Chapter 6. It mentions... Uh, what uh, the world will have to deal with, all right? So this is what happens. So it says in Revelation chapter 6, verse 7, And when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, Come and see. And I looked, and behold, a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death. And hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with a sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. So when you focus on that famine pat, man, you know... It's just going to be a, a sad experience for, for people. You know, famine, famine, famine. It's not, a, it's not something, you know, to uh, ignore. Because you see when uh, those folks in this uh, third world country are so malnourished, you see all the types of uh, ailments that they fall, you know, the, the fall to, all right? So it just shows you, man, that uh, a person's immune system is uh, very, very uh, fragile and susceptible to disease, all right? So that's the reason why a brother's got to watch what they eat, you know, because uh, when you have the time to stay healthy, you stay healthy. And when there's a scarcity, you know that uh, your, your immune system is going to have to kick in you know, for the meantime, until you get the appropriate resources to replenish your system, all right? So, you have to be, you know, uh, aware of that also. And uh, Revelation chapter, it's like you, Jeremiah, yeah, Jeremiah chapter, chapter 16. This is what it says about uh, the judgments uh, people are going to have to deal with. Jeremiah chapter 16 verse 4. They shall die grievous death. All right. They shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented. Neither shall they be buried. But they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. And they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. And their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. So this is the dilemma of our people, all right? And uh, chaos, man, the judgments of the Lord, the righteous indignation of the Lord is going to come upon our, our, our people, man, you know, to separate the righteous from the unrighteous, okay? And... Uh, Expect more animosity, man, among the people on the face of the earth. You know, expect more uh, clashes with the government. You already have the situation in Sri Lanka, and now you have a so-called uh, immigration crisis all over the world that uh, cannot be solved under the so-called system. You know, you have a so-called diplomatic uh, crisis over there between Russia and the EU. So it's going to be chaos, man, you know. So just prepare spiritually, all right? And, uh, you know, the day, you just got to depend on the Lord to give you the uh, understanding to approach uh, these problems. So the book of uh, Second Ezra, chapter 16, and 22 it says for, for many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy 
So just imagine, man, the, the, the false sense of uh, security, the false sense of hope, the false sense of relief that these people are dealing with, man, you know? So, you know, you just uh, meditate on that, and that's, that's bitterness, all right? And uh, you got to deal with it, you know, it's part of prophecy. You know, you just got to pray the Lord have mercy on you and your household, okay? So when you see all these uh, 3D printed foods and all that stuff, it makes you wonder why are they so desperate to push this type of idea, you know, in the media and uh, to get uh, all these so-called celebrities to uh, endorse it and promote it. Yeah, you know, you just figured out that, you know, they're trying to uh, go after the farmers and create a situation with the supply chain for agricultural products, you know. So, it is what it is, you know. You just have to uh, prepare accordingly, all right. Because the Lord has already mentioned that uh, his servants are going to eat. You know, we have nothing to worry about. He also said that too. You know, take no thoughts about the cares of this world. You know, just focus more on the kingdom. All right. So, uh, the book of Sirach, chapter 18 and 25, it says, uh, When thou hast enough, remember the time of hunger. And when thou art rich, think upon poverty and need. So that's the balance. You know, the Apostle Paul talked about that, you know, how to deal with his lack of uh, resources, you know, how to be abased and how to handle abundance, you know, because it's part of uh, this ministry. You have to learn to deal with scarcity and abundance all right, of resources. You know, you don't want to get comfortable in this place. So you got to walk that fine line. So Sirach chapter 18 verse 25. When thou hast enough, remember the time of hunger. And that goes well with uh, our forefather Joseph in the land of Egypt. You know, the Lord showed him that uh, interpretation of uh, Pharaoh's dream. You know, uh, concerning the famine to come, and uh, our forefather Joseph uh, prepared for that. You know, so in a time of uh, of abundance, you have to remember hunger is around the corner. When thou has enough, remember the time of hunger, and when thou art rich, think upon poverty and need. So you gotta know how to uh, distribute and cultivate resources. In other words, assets that will serve you well in these last days when there's a shortage of uh, resources, okay? And the most important resource you have to stock up on is this world of the Lord, all right? You don't want to have a shortage of it, you know? That's why the Lord t talks about in the scriptures, you know, give you the spirit without, without measure. So that's what you need to be uh, focused on. So that's the point that I can... You know, we know the famine is going to happen anyway, so we're not going to be surprised about that. So you just have to uh, stay buckled up in the spirit, you know, because this ride is about to get bumpy. But hey, after a while, <laughs> you're going to know how to uh, adjust to the ups and downs, you know, to the rigmaroles, because... Uh, Lord Hamashaki Shai already prepared us for that, all right? So, Abba Ratiza, you've been edified, and, uh, you know, just prepare, man. Whatever resources you can get, whatever knowledge you could acquire, just put it to good use, you know, because, uh, hey, you already know, you know hunger. <laughs> hunger is around the corner, you know. The famine of the word is around the corner, all right? So you got to prepare for boats. Shall one.